I don't think there is a sin. It's you know democratic functioning of the parties. It's not a dictatorship. So if someone expresses his opinion, doesn't mean he is guilty. So no, there's no problem about it. Let let someone express what is there. If he's making his heart out, what's what's the issue? The leaders of these parties know what to do, and therefore the honourable Sonia Gandhi ji, Rahul ji, Sharad Pawar ji, honourable Uddhav ji, all these uh, our leaders they know what to do. So therefore, somebody at the bottom level speaks something. Let him hint out what does it make, what difference it makes. So unless these three leaders come together and say something. nothing is authentic by anyone let even from my side on the sharing of seeds and other things nothing is there you are waiting for a crack don't worry wait for the crack crack will not be there <laughs> sir nobody is really like you know it's it's a business to ask questions not waiting for any crack or anything like that but having said that you know you talk of some people say but you know mr savant ashok chavan is not a small leader in uh, maharashtra congress or, or even the congress uh, you know he's been the chief minister of the state for him to say that there is no question that your party's demand for 23 seats will not be met you know, that's not just small or loose talk uh, what did he say what did he say he, well, see if you ask me because ashok chavan was the former chief minister of the maharashtra is a leader of congress definitely it has to be taken seriously but that their leaders will take it up why we should disturb or get disturb about it issue is that they should not forget in the 2014 they had hardly four five uh, member of parliaments were there in the 2019 only one was there don't forget that you don't should not forget the plinth the base should not forget right now in the parliament from maharashtra congress has got only one member of parliament who uh, with the bad luck has expired but he too was belonging to shiv sena don't forget that he was a shiv sena mla and then left party joined congress got elected it's okay still i say it is a congress so he had they had only one what what is our aim is our number is our aim or to achieve the power at the center is our aim and if they top power to it achieve the power at the center is our aim and we do not want the present regime to continue in the center in that case everyone has to sacrifice don't forget and therefore uh, you you have experienced presently what has happened in madhya pradesh what is happening in rajasthan so by expressing adamant way what we that, that will not be it will not lead to a fruitful results so why not keep control whatever you want to say say to your leaders Say to your but bosses who are there, but why to I, why to come in the press and public? So therefore, action and reaction goes on. It's like Newton's law. Not to worry about that. But the reaction also came from the fact that uh, your party demanded 23 seats. Where it comes down to sacrifice, sir. You know, there's a larger context and a larger question to it as well. Because in 2019, you fought as one party. Since then, your outfit has split. Your out your particular faction is not even in power. So the question, sir, is: Are you justified? in now demanding 23 seats out of 48 in maharashtra from your ally definitely justifying definitely justifying what is there but still i say honorable uddhav ji thakur is there not to worry about it. why we should uh, discuss all such issues we were 18 we contested 20 22 seats last time 26 were given to bjp We may, so there is nothing wrong by expressing that we want twenty three. Expression is different. Final results are different. So we have to wait. Let the okay. honourable Karge ji, Rahul ji, honourable Uddhav ji, Sanjay Rao ji, Sunia ji, all those things are there. Those leaders will come together, sit together, and finalise. Well, you know, at least it's interesting, sir, because you say expectations are there, but the final thing is something else. So this is what you've begun with, and then you're going to look to bargain it down, is what it seems like. But I'll come back to the question, uh, Mr. Savant, because a lot of what you bargain today uh, cannot come from what you were in 2019. You were a very different party outfit. Uh, A, you were one unit with the Shiv Sena was. At that time, you were fighting elections with the BJP and not with the combine of an NCP and the Congress. So very, very different there. Uh, do you think you are still in a position to take the lion's share of the seats, or at least demand it? It is much stronger than whatever the wrong things were there. They only have the party. It is much stronger. The roots of Shiv Sena is that is the reason 
the ruling party could not conduct the municipal corporation election. Do you feel it is a democratic one? Answer me. I need an answer from you. When two years uh, almost, Mumbai Municipal Corporation, the largest municipal corporation of the country, elections are not being conducted. Is it a democracy, democratic functioning? Is it a constitutional functioning? They did not dare to take even the uh, Senate elections of the Mumbai University, just out of fear of the Aditi Ji Thakur's leadership. So what you talk about that? Therefore, if you say, we have no fear about that. We have become much more stronger than what we were. All right, uh, Mr. Savant, appreciate you taking the time out and joining us, sir. Uh, good luck and have a good uh, new year. And we'll see you in the new year, sir. Let's see how things go. Politically explosive, that's what it's poised as.